Hey guys, welcome to Zola Blocks. In this block tutorial, let's explore the post list block to create beautiful post lists in Gutenberg. Let's go. To start, fire up your Gutenberg page editor, click on any empty block space, then search for the post list block in the quick block menu and select the post list by Zolo blocks. Once the block is dropped on the page, you will see a default appearance like this. Take note that you need to have some posts to show them with this dynamic post block. The interface contains a featured image, along with a thumb list containing post image, title, category, and meta. Opening the block properties menu, you can switch between the presets to change the layout style of the content. You can also toggle the switchers right below to show or hide specific elements of the post list. For example, the category, excerpt, reading time, pagination. Also, you can change the direction of the thumb post, more precisely shifting the images from left to right. Plus, you can change the content alignment for the text parts here. Now, inside the content section, you can change the title tag, total word limit for the title, excerpt word limit, separator indicator, meta separator, and more. There's also an items gap scroll bar at the bottom. However, the query section is one of the most important things. Because this part of the block can directly manipulate dynamic content, here, you can choose the source of the list. You can show posts only from specific authors using the by author field. In the same way, you can add filters for the category and tags. Also, you can decide how many posts to show per pagination page from here. Not to mention the post offset and order shorting options. Now, these were the basics. Let's get into the style tab next for some creative appearance customization. You are starting with the item section. The first thing you will notice is that there are two subsections here, one for normal and one for the featured post. Then again, the first option is a border control that lets you add a border around the post items. Apart from the border option, you have border radius, common padding, background color, and box shadow options. The same options can be found in the featured subsection as well, including an overlay color option at the bottom. Next is the thumbnail section. In this part, you can adjust the height of the thumbnail using a scroll bar on top. Let's put a suitable number there for easy customization. Then you have thumbnail size, border, border radius, padding, etc. Changing to the featured subsection, you can also adjust the featured thumbnail height from here. After that comes the title section. In this part, you can customize the list's title font using typography commands. Typography includes a couple of font customizations, such as font family, weight, size, spacing, decoration, etc. After that, you can change the title text color to stand out. The same goes for the featured post as well. All right, next comes the meta section. The post meta information right now is sitting below the title text. In this section, you can start with typography again. There's also a spacing option available in case you want to adjust the space between the title and meta. Then switch to the featured subsection and customize that as well. After that comes the author section. Inside, you can find color options for normal and hover modes. You may save it for later also. Then comes the category section. Here, the first thing to edit is the typography. And apart from a gap option on top, you have a border, border radius, padding, and margin options here. Close to the bottom, you can change the background color of the category text. Let's put something cool here. Just go for white for the text color. For hover, you can select a different pair of colors, much easier and looks cool. Then, for the featured post category info, you can separately configure the typography and colors yourself.
The last part is the pagination. Here, you can change the pagination alignment to suit your style. Then go for the typography menu. Even if you are not changing the border, padding, or margin, no worries. Just go for the colors, background, and separator. You can configure for both normal and active modes. And that pretty much sums it up. You can take it to your audience right away. Before going away, make sure to check the ready patterns using the post list block for design inspiration. Of course, you can do more amazing things with it. That's all for this video. Thanks for staying with Zola Blocks. Please like and subscribe to this video and stay updated for more block tutorials. See you soon.